Thanks, driver. All right, guys, so we made it. We're just getting off the uh, TriMet bus here. Thanks, man. We're gonna head over here to the Portland State, or I'm sorry, the PCC campus, the Southeast campus. There's something right up here. Well, there's a couple things, really. But there is an art piece, a statue, if you will, of something that I've been wanting to see here. It's fairly new by a German artist. I saw a video and it had like a couple million views. Um, and when I watched the video on it, I thought, oh my gosh, I know that little, that little symbol. It was the Portland Community College's little icon. And I'm like, I think I know where that's at. So we are here on campus. Let's go up here and get a better look at a couple things I want to show you guys. Definitely a beautiful campus. This is all fairly new. That was the little icon that caught my eye in the original video that I saw. And there's actually a couple, there's probably a few, but I know of two art pieces that caught my eye right away. One is right here. Which I thought was very interesting. It's like this little almost Grinch body looking little guy. And he's got these items in his hand here. Looks to be like a, a little pyramid of some sort. And I like his little face. He's definitely cool. Oh, and he's even got some kind of like rooted looking feet. Oh, it looks like there's a little tiny horseshoe hidden in there too. And this guy right here is newer. I haven't seen him yet. And right down here is a little placard telling us more about him. This is the Grand Calabash Bruce Conkle 2016. Okay, so this has been here for a while. The Grand Calabash is a well-wisher that was inspired by artist research on the history of Portland Community College's Southeast Campus. Location, right here where we stand. Specifically, he studied several artifacts found in unearthed cistern and altern left behind in a Chinese restaurant in the present-day incarnation of the site as a center for higher learning. Among these desperate things, he perceived a shared human desire for good fortune, abundance, health, and prosperity. The, geom the geometric shapes in the figure's hand signify the study of mathematics, geometry, and architecture. The base is a styled tree stump that speaks to the resources used as a foundation to further the development of knowledge and process. The trunk is embellished with hand-drawn symbols relating to science and education. There are nine good luck symbols incorporated in the Grand Calabash. See if you can find them. And it's a gourd, a bee, a ladybug, a oak leaf, a elephant's trunk, mushrooms, an acorn, a scarab beetle, and a horseshoe. Which we saw the horseshoe. And so there is a ton more little hidden objects that is so cool I really like that and I like the the base down here has little designs on it as well all the way around oh and I found uh, let's see we've got the the horseshoe and here's the little mushrooms right here the little horseshoe there behind them oh look at as I kind of pan the ca camera back there's the ladybug right there. That is so cool. It's a great spot for it. And I believe the Chinese restaurant that they were maybe speaking of was over there, which was the Canton Grill, a very famous, iconic place here in Portland, Chinese restaurant, which we vlogged not too long ago. But right here, the Grand Calabash. <laughs> Very cool. 
And just right over here is another thing that I wanted to show you guys. But the original campus was up the street on 82nd, then it moved here. Um, but right here, right next to the, or right on the main campus rather, is this incredible art piece right here. Check this out, you guys. And in fact, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about this here in a second. The artist behind it, I told you about on the way in, the video that I saw before. And if you turn the, the camera or your position when you're looking at it, I believe it fully kind of, kind of just disappears. Let's check it out. So here it is, you guys. This is so incredibly cool. And I'll show you guys what I mean here in a second, but I wanted to kind of just get up here and show you how incredibly cool this is. It's all out of metal and it's in slats. So the whole thing is kind of symmetrical to make the three dimensional look to it. So as the slats are put on, it kind of like almost like a 3D printer. Um, but I'm, one of the things that I saw, which was really cool on the videos, if you go kind of like, well, let's step back a bit and see if we can get it to do it. I'm thinking if I move the camera just slightly in front of it here, it should almost, you can almost see right here on the arm here where you look through you can almost see directly behind it so as you kind of move the camera at an angle it becomes more solid but you can also see where when you turn the camera just at a slight well let's let's try this let me let me post the camera up back here and we'll look see if we can get me See if you guys can see me directly through it. So you guys can see how big it is too. That's pretty darn tall. I'm almost six foot, so that's you know, good for me. And then as you move, it kind of, kind of fills in. I'll try that one more time. So, as you can see, at this angle right about here, you can see where it kind of starts to slowly disappear, where this part is still really filled in. And then as you turn the camera, it kind of kind of slowly starts to to fade back in. God, that's cool looking. That is so cool looking. It really works good when you turn the camera. Gosh, it just really does almost just fully disappear right there, the top half in the lighting. And then as you turn the camera back more, Oh, that is so cool. With the lighting coming in better, it's actually starting to work a little better where you guys can see now it's almost like a full full statue. So the placard on the art piece itself is a little hard to read, but it's called The Reader. Hence, she's got the, the book. Wow, it's really making my voice echo too, standing up close to it too, like this. It says, for Portland Community College, artist Julian Voss Andrea. 2017 and I've seen more of his work you guys he is world-renowned 
and um, I would definitely recommend checking out his social media and uh, his other work which I will leave in the uh, description but look at that With the Sun coming through it's almost like her arms totally gone and then and then just like that full statue god that is so cool I love this the sculpture of these two he's a German guy and he's very interesting to listen to and his ideas coming up with this it's highly worth the watch this campus is huge they've got this nice little place where you can park your bikes and if you want you can even park your your unicycle <laughs> nice the unipiper would be proud nice little kind of courtyard area look at this beautiful rose garden too wow that's pretty oh wow I wish I had a smell-o-vision right now wow very very pretty oh my gosh those smell so good look how big this red one is City of Roses. Very nice. Here's one of their banners here. And look at it. It looks like the girl reading there. Maybe that's the statue or just actually somebody <laughs> enjoying a book as well. Looks kind of like the statue though. That's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up. You can ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. Creeper out for now.